Welcome to your chakra yoga flow to cleanse your throat chakra vishuddha. Hi, I'm Allie. Welcome to the yoga mat with me. If you're new here to my channel, please make sure you subscribe so that you're notified every time a new class goes live to support you from your home. And if you're a returning yogi, welcome back. Thank you for continuing to practice with me. A few notes about this practice. We'll be seated at the beginning and the end. I'm on a meditation cushion. If you have a prop you would like, please gather that. Second, if you have a mala, we'll be meditating at the end with a mala necklace. So if you have that as well, grab one, please unroll your mat. Come join me for this cleansing throat chakra practice. To begin the class, please bring yourself into a seated upright posture. Like me, I am sitting atop a cushion. You could use any prop. You can also roll up the back of your yoga mat to create some spinal extension and more comfort. Once you arrive here, please gently wrap your hands around your throat. Close your eyes. Begin to enliven your breath and anchor yourself in the present. Breathing into the throat region. This is where Vishuddha, the throat chakra, lives. The element here is sound. And this energy center is connected to communication, self-expression. This is your creative identity. It is where you create resonance through your ability to communicate with clarity. It's where you speak and live authentically through your words and then your actions. So take seven breaths here to anchor, to connect with the throat chakra of Ashuda, this energy center. Begin to open your eyes, release your hands and bring them behind you and clasp them and bring them all the way over to the right side of your body, okay? So they're in a clasp here at the right side of the body and then stretch your left ear over towards your left shoulder. Mm. You're gonna feel a really nice sensation all along the right side of the neck. Breathe there. Last breath. Release your hands and take them over to the other side. Slowly lift your head back up through center and bring that fist package over to the left now. Stretch your right ear towards your right shoulder. And again, send your awareness into the left side of the neck now. Use your breath to create spaciousness to allow for tension to move out of this region. Relax that right shoulder down if it's creeping up. Last breath. And release the hands. Bring the chin to the chest. Breathe into the back of the neck. 
And if you're able to do so, start making full rotations with the neck going to the left first, counterclockwise, moving really slow. Take two whole rotations to the left. Pause when you get back to the center, chin to chest. Take it to the right, clockwise. And after that second rotation, pause, chin to chest, whole breath. <sighs> Inhale, lift the chin. Coming into Eagle Pose arms, wrap the right arm underneath the left. And so, hey, check this out. You might only come to a half bind here, bringing the backs of the hands towards one another. You might be able to wrap your hands around one another. Either way, Bring your elbows as much as you can in line with your shoulders and send your hands away from your face. Breathe into your upper back. Lengthen from root to crown. Final breath here. Unwind the hands, open them out wide to a T and take the left hand underneath this time. Remembering half bind is available or taking the full bind, doing your best to bring the elbows in line with the shoulders and sending the hands away from the face. Reconnect to your breath, awareness at the throat. Settle in, lengthen from root to crown. And open the arms wide to a T. Beautiful, close the hands down. Move into a tabletop posture with me. So come off your prop, set it off to the side for now. Find tabletop pose. Moving in and out of cat cow. As you move through cat cow, awareness at the throat chakra, this entire region, yeah? So tabletop pose, inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhaling authenticity, honesty, and truth. Exhaling communication, creativity, and clarity. Keep moving like that. Awareness at the throat, Vishuddha chakra. Breathing in and out. Come to neutral tabletop, preparing for puppy pose. You might wanna walk your body back a bit on your mat. Feel yourself out. We want the hips stacking over the knees, gaze forward. Keep this stack that you just created. Step forward with one hand and the other. Soften the chest down, and if you can, bring the chin to the mat. If that's too uncomfortable, connect the forehead, okay? We'll take five breaths here. If you've got the chin down and it's uncomfortable, too uncomfortable, rest the forehead down, three more breaths. And inhale to gaze forward, push into your hands, coming into Sphinx pose, slowly lower your thighs, your pelvis, and your stomach to the ground. Bring the elbows so they're in line with the shoulders, wrists in line with the elbows. 
and push the earth away, extend through the spine, lengthen all the way up through the front side body. Think cow pose here. Exhale to gently round the back, drop the head and neck, chin to chest, cat. A milder movement than you would normally do, inhaling and exhaling. Last round. And now come into Sphinx Pose and really push down through your forearms and drag your chest through the gate of your arms. Hold for three breaths here. And lower the chest down, slide the hands back, push back child's pose, let the knees go wide, extend the fingertips in front of you. Inhale forward, come into cow, extend through the spine, broaden through the chest, breathe into the throat, exhale balasana child's pose. Move back and forth here, inhaling into authenticity, honesty, and truth. Exhaling back into creativity, clarity, communication. Inhaling forward, honesty, authenticity, and truth. Exhale back, expression, resonance, communication. Two more times. As you settle back into this child's pose, bend the elbows so they're in a diamond-like shape so you can hang the head here. So the head is not touching the ground here. By taking the elbows wide, the head can hang, decompressing the cervical spine. Allow the head to hang heavy. It's not connecting to the earth plane. Awareness at the throat region, the Vishuddha chakra. Breathing here. And making your way up into a seated posture. So come back onto whatever prop you were situated on. We'll do some throat chakra breath work and then move into a meditation. It's a mantra meditation. So we'll be chanting hum together out loud 27 times, okay? So we'll do some breath work and then I'll be counting on my mala beads. So you don't need mala beads. I'll be counting for us. You'll be chanting with me, hum, all right? So get yourself prepared. If you have your mala beads, keep them nearby. If you're new to mala beads, don't stress. I'll be counting for us. I just want you to focus on the repetition of hum, which is the throat chakra bija mantra. For this breath work, we interlace our hands and we bring them underneath the throat, okay? So neck is level, and on the inhale, we lift our elbows up high and wide, keeping the throat and the chin level. On the exhale, the elbows come together, the head falls back, and we ha, open the mouth, exhale audibly. Let's begin to do this together. Ha. <sighs> Ha. 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 
Ha. Ha. Release the hands. Sit up nice and tall. If you're using your mala beads, find them. If not, rest your hands atop your thighs. Lengthen from root to crown. Close your eyes down. Begin to chant with me hum, all right? Awareness at the throat region throughout this entire experience. Hum. 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 Last one. Hum. Pause here. Notice the vibratory essence you've created through chanting, through breathing, through honing your awareness at the Fashuda Chakra. Notice if you can connect further to your authenticity to speak and live your truth. to express freely, tap into creativity. Create connection through communication. Notice, listen, notice. Listen, what are you hearing right now? Awareness at the throat chakra, Vishuddha. To seal this experience, say one kind, empowering statement to yourself. One kind, empowering statement to yourself. Speak that statement. Let it be heard. Let it be known. This is your right to speak and be heard. And take a whole breath to anchor back into your physical body. When you feel ready, open your eyes. Welcome back to the physical space. I hope you take what you experienced off the yoga mat into your daily life so you can speak and live your truth through your words and your actions and give yourself permission to express yourself freely and create what it is you want to have in your life. All right? If you're new here or if you haven't come join me yet for my seven day chakra yoga challenge, come on, come join me. It's an amazing free challenge, an amazing free experience. The description is in the below, in the link is in the description below. <laughs> I'll meet you back here on the yoga mat to continue using this practice to create transformation. Okay. Thanks so much for joining me.